You know, it's hard to know where to start on this. I was just uh, checking out this STG, SGT report, and uh, someone had mentioned in a comment on one of Cleck's videos that they were, they were sent to his channel by SGT. So I went, oh no, you got to be kidding me. So I've been watching, following SGT for a long, long time. And the guy's done really good work and, and stuff. And uh, But I wanted to say, oh, let's see, let's see what, who's trying to promote Cleck at this point. And so basically he's talking about this guy that uh, parked on the bridge and they shut down the freeways and you know, Cleck did some prophecy uh, regarding, uh, you know, something going on on Hoover Dam way back on 11-11-11, which turned out to be a false prophet, see, and it never happened. And, um, you know, um, but he, he's done a lot of uh, work on other things as far as um, things on the money, which was the main point that SGT was trying to make here. Um, he takes credit for this, but um, I remember way back years ago that he was actually led to this by somebody else that drew attention to this. Um, I may, may or may not have a video on it where he admitted that, but uh, he, he's taking total credit for this now. <clears throat> but you know, I'm constantly dealing with Clack and trying to wake people up as to, um, you know, his false teaching. Even though he does, you know, do some good work, I mean, the Vatican he's nailed it. He's he's done. I got I got to give him credit. He's done excellent work on the Vatican. Um, but you know, other people have too. But uh, he seems to want to take all the credit for everything. So basically, he runs around with uh, coloring pencils and coloring books, and uh, you know he colors in pictures, and he, you know he talks about this hidden symbology and that hidden symbology and this and that and the other and this commercial and that commercial. And you know what I find interesting is you know I I could play a Hagman a Hagman video, and um, there would be something in a background in a commercial, some music, you know, faint way back you couldn't even hear it and then I would get flagged on it and have to remove the video but yet he can do these whole uh, commercials and, and never get the uh, flagged I mean so, something's not right okay and so now he's on this uh, <clears throat> and he's been on it for a while birth of a a new uh, race thing and um, he claims that uh, um, Satan had sex with Eve and, um, you know, because eating, of a, eating a free piece of fruit from a tree equals having sex. So, therefore, Satan had sex with Adam as well, you know, because he ate of the fruit too, right? Which is ludicrous because... You know, Genesis 4.1 could not possibly be more clear as to who the father of Cain was. You know, Cleck says that uh, Cain uh, was fathered by Satan. But Genesis 4.1 says here, And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bare Cain and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. I mean, what could be more clear? What Jonathan does is he goes back and he digs into this, these books of Jewish fables, which the Bible, you know, warns us about. It says in Timothy that, uh, you know, that they will, you know, use the, these books of uh, fables, you know, to, to try to justify their false teaching and they're going to be tickling people's ears. So Kleck's group is, is you know, an example of that, that... Uh, you know, he's just tickling their ears, and, and they're happy as, you know, clowns, you know, that uh, he's drawing little pictures, and, and, you know, they feel like they've got some kind of special knowledge, but, you know, I've exposed 
collect before is a Gnostic. He is Gnostic. Okay? I've done videos where he's using websites that flat says Gnostic Warrior. The dude is a Gnostic. You know, all this hidden meaning, secret society, you know, occult knowledge crap. That, that's what he's into. But, uh, you know, he, because he claims to profess Jesus as a savior because he got uh, allegedly saved by Michael the Archangel in some alley uh, by, of all things, repeating a Hail Mary, which, you know, is not what I would call a sinner's prayer, but um, in accepting Christ, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, I mean, the guy is just... He, he's, he's a brick short of a load. This is totally. Um, so here we go. You know, I, I'm constantly dealing with these false teachers. Uh, you know, Cleck is not the only one. And the reason I choose to do it, I don't like to do it, but very few people will do it. I mean, what is wrong with the church? It's so apathetic. I mean, everybody's sitting around waiting on the rapture. Take me away. You know, I don't want to have to cope with this stuff. I'm sick of it. I want to, you know, go home, blah, 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 blah. And, um, you know, they're not doing anything. They're not marking these false prophets like the Bible says to do. They're not calling them out. They're not exposing them like the Bible says to do. And so this is one of the reasons that, you know, we're in crisis. The church is in crisis. Um, you know, I would go as so far to say that you know Cleck and his followers I really worry about their salvation and I literally do pray for them because you know Cleck is giving Satan credit for what Jesus Christ did the book of John could not be more clear when it says that the word that became flesh created all things and nothing that was created was created that he didn't create so how is it that Satan allegedly created man then? I mean, that's blasphemy. Giving credit to Satan for something that God did. And I'm thinking that, uh, you know, Cleck is um, setting people up for the, you know, when these ETs, alleged ETs, demons, you know, fallen angels show up and say, hey, we're your daddy, and people are going to go, well, that's what Jonathan's been saying all along, <laughs> you know? <laughs> and, uh, you know, so it's it's just like this big grooming, you know, for the, for, great, for the great deception is how I see it. But, I mean, this is a good example here. This lady... Uh, Sherry Healy uh, sends me uh, a message the other day because uh, I, she, you know, I did a video that uh, Cleck was linking Trump, you know, to Satanism, and um, she says you're a fool. That's my message to you from the Lord God. Like this girl speaks to the Lord God, so you know, of course I, uh, I dealt with that. But, um, you know, I, I get these messages all the time from these Kleckites and these different other people that I uh, try to set straight. And um, I just, I don't know, it, it gets old. But, I mean, here's another one I got a couple today. Uh, you know, seriously, you're a strange fella. Not much understanding of God's word, are you? You just good at quoting. A five-year-old can do that. You know, words, you just good at quoting the Bible. A five-year-old can do that. And, and I replied to her, "Well, yeah, I can not only." you know, quote it, but I can also understand it. And I shared with her Genesis 4.1, which I just shared with you. You know, Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived the bear Cain, and said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. And I said, what could be more clear? Of course, it's all crickets after that point. So, 
but uh, I just wanted to bring this to your attention and um, you know real quick I just made a comment this fella or person um, 3mm 4p 33l they're, they're talking about Kleck being a prophet or a seer and this guy or person says he's neither good gravy Kleck says by disagreeing with him that you have blasphemed the Holy Spirit equals the unpardonable sin he is giddy on himself so many hand signs and buzzwords and I wrote wrote back I replied to him and said you are correct Kleck is a brick short of a load he also claims that he is both a fallen angel and the angel of the Church of Philadelphia and that we all and we are all seed of the serpent aka Satan and that Satan and his minions created man beyond I'm beyond shocked that SGT report didn't do enough homework on him as Kleck is obsessed with penises and vaginas he's a real color book image drawing satanic false teaching freak through or though admittedly uh, he has gotten a few things right keep him in your prayers as he is leading many to the pit by committing blasphemy himself by giving Satan credit for creating man when it was cry uh, when it was Christ that did same according to John 1 he also uses a Jewish book of fables and one of the Targums aka the Targums to teach Satan had sex with Eve and Adam because remember Adam ate of the fruit too and was the father of Cain when Genesis 4 1 King James Version clearly states Adam was Cain's father I could go on and on and on so um, just a little update here on, on what's going on and, and I'm just dumbfounded that you know false teachers like this are flourishing and people are just gobbling it up and when you put scriptures you know true scriptures right in front of people's face they just reject it or they want to add to it or they want to take away from it exactly as the book of Revelation warns against so you know we've we're, we're in trouble as a, as a church and and I'm really concerned about 90% of the church out there I, I, I just got a feeling that about 90% is not gonna make it I don't see anybody working for the Lord um, to speak of and uh, you know there's a lot of false accusations I just went around the mountain with somebody the other day I don't want to say who but uh, uh, you know lady she you know she's hammering uh, L.A. Marzulli and says he's a Freemason you know because he does hand signs and all this stuff I, I said come on come on come on that, that's all you got is some hand signs I says we all as we talk move our hands around I mean good grief when I make videos you know I'm, I, I almost want to tape my hands to the table you know because I don't want somebody to accuse me of making a hand sign or something I mean you know it, it's like straying a gnat and swallowing a camel you know uh, where's the discernment where's the logic so anyway I hope you guys are doing well and uh, you know those that do have the courage to fight continue to good fight I don't know how long this is going to last, but um, it's getting ugly. It's getting brutal. Racism is, is climbing. You know, I've been uh, hammering on this guy wrapped in news, and the, you know, he's he's progressed like Kleck has done over the years. You know, Kleck started off; he wasn't as radical as he is now in his teaching. He he didn't start off, you know, teaching, you know that. Uh, you know, Satan had sex with Eve and all that. He and, he and we're all, you know, 
children of Satan. He didn't start off like that. It was a progressive thing. And this guy, Rapid News, is doing the same thing. Rapid News is now saying that uh, um, basically the whole New Testament is, is false and, and Paul was a false apostle and Jesus is, is not Savior. He's not God. I mean, and so I'm, I'm battling these people left and right and for whatever reason my view count is really low yet I've got you know over 2,500 subscribers I mean that's not setting the world on fire but how is it with 2,500 subscribers I get like 25 views or something nuts or, or it takes months and months and months and months for the views to get up um, I'm feeling like my stuff is being suppressed and I'm kind of frustrated and that's one of the reasons I've slowed down on doing videos because uh, I'm not sure people are appreciating my efforts and my knowledge and my research and so uh, I just kind of been sitting back watching so if you like what I'm doing if you like the research share the video can you click a few buttons and share the video I mean, if you're not going to do the work yourself, at least support somebody that will do the work and will stand up, and, you know, because I'm the guy that will stand up against a million false teachers. But, it, you know, it would be nice to, to get a little support. You know, Clegg says he needs surgery. They shoot him all kinds of money. He wants to build a, build a shipping container, and it's supposed to be this great spiritual thing and they send him all this money next thing you know he's giving it away to some guy in Colorado I mean that was a total waste of money <laughs> so I don't know forgive me but I'm a little bit dumbfounded on the way things are working these days and uh, but uh, you know just prepare stay in the word walk with Jesus because times are freaky and call out these false teachers, would you? You know, because you're going to be held accountable. Okay? So with that, love you. I hope uh, things are going well for you. If I can do anything for you, let me know. And uh, you guys take care now. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.